It's official. A Harry Potter TV series is coming to Max. David Zaslav has revealed plans for a live action TV series based on the original series of books. Is that at the top? That just broke on Hollywood Reporter. Uh, okay, okay let, gotcha. let's see if we can get that story here. I'm, I'm right. going to jump over here myself. Give me a moment. Sure. Well, uh, because you are looking this for is... that. Do you want to go to the next one on that list? Uh, go to the next one on the list for now. Yes. All right. Well, this one also for Ray, are you ready to live the dream Barbie dream house challenge? It looks like it is a reality show competition is coming to max and HGTV. No, thanks. I'm going to say no, no, right no, so much. No, like these reality competition shows are getting too far. All right, let's go over to my screen here for a second. Right. This is huge. We did talk about this the other day about there were whispers and reports going around that they are looking at doing a Harry Potter TV series. And I was wondering if they would make it official today. But here we go. David Heyman, who produced all eight. Yeah, I've, I met David. Uh, he's very passionate about this thing. He was the producer of all the Harry Potter films. <clears throat> David Heyman, uh, not to be confused with uh, Paul Heyman, uh, who produced all eight feature films, is in talks to executive produce the original series based on the books. Now, I'm going to read whatever it is, The Hollywood Reporter. Look at little young Daniel Radcliffe there. My goodness. Anyway, Hollywood Reporter says this. It's official. A Harry Potter TV series is coming to the streaming service, formerly known as HBO Max, which, of course, is the place to go to for HBO. <laughs> uh, Warner Brothers Discovery uh, CEO David Zaslav has revealed plans for a live action TV series based on controversial author J.K. Rowling's beloved book series. Zaslav made the announcement Wednesday morning during a presentation that revealed how streamers HBO Max and Discovery Plus would be integrated as expected HBO Max, blah, 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 blah. Who cares? Uh, here's how the series is described by Max. The stories from each of Rowling's uh, Harry Potter books will become a decade-long series. Oh, yeah, that's not getting ahead of yourself. That's a red flag right there. Anyway, will become a decade-long series produced with the same epic craft, love, and care this global franchise is known for. The series will feature a new cast to lead a new generation of fandom full of the fantastic detail, much-loved characters, and dramatic locations that Harry <clears throat> Potter fans have loved for over 25 years. Each season will be authentic to the original books and bring Harry Potter and these incredible adventures to new audiences around the world, while the original classic and beloved films will remain at the core of the franchise and available to watch globally. All right, I've got a couple of red flags here. <clears throat> red flag number one. Did you learn nothing from Universal launching their dark monster universe? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, apparently not. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, a couple of years ago, Universal made this big deal. We're about to do this 10 film epic saga of the dark universe, starting with the mummy and the invisible man and Frankenstein and blah, 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 all these people. And they put out pictures of Tom Cruise with Javier Bardem and Russell Crowe. And there it is. Uh, and, uh, Oh, I thought, I thought of Skeet Ulrich for a second. And Johnny Depp. <laughs> you read they put out these pictures. Oh, we're going to do all this stuff. Oh, woo, the new era. And then they put out the first film, Tom Cruise's The Mummy. Didn't go so well. I personally did not hate The Mummy. Just, just to be on record, I personally didn't hate The Mummy. But that bit them in the ass for years. That bit them in the ass for years. That the, the, All these big plans and albums. To come out and say, this will be a decade-long television franchise. Really? Let's see how that goes. By the way, uh, an image of Zaslav just leaked of his announcement. <laughs> oh, my God. Here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> so that's a little bit of a red flag for me right there. Like, don't be talking about decade-long. Like, how about you get the first season done to see if anybody likes it? And, and then move on. Anyway. So the other red flag for me here is I, and I said this when we talked about this story a few weeks ago, I wonder are, is the Harry Potter universe of fans ready to watch a Harry Potter that is not Daniel Radcliffe? Are they ready to watch a Hermione that is not Emma Watson? Are they ready to watch a Ron that is not Rupert Grint Gr or Gint or how do we pronounce it? Uh, Grint. Grint. I just, yeah. so I said it right the first time. Grint. Yeah. Are they ready for that? Who's going to be the new Dumbledore? I, maybe the answer is yes. Maybe the answer is yes. Uh, or, or maybe not. Or maybe it's one of those things where, like, you know, House of the Dragon, everybody says, I'm not going to watch that. And then when it comes out and it's awesome, everybody watches it. So, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. They could blow us away with the tone of it. 
They could. Where, where unlike the first couple of movies where they were very kid like related, it was it's a little more serious tone, and people are like, "Yeah, I like this." Yeah, I mean, look, listen, I'm not going to be one of these mindless, you know, just band haters where it's just like, no, it's automatic, nothing, nothing you can do to make this work. No, I got worries about it. I, I have trepidations about it, but there are things you could do here that could be pretty damn cool. Those books are much beloved, and to bring them back for a new generation. Uh, is an interesting thing, but bringing it back for a new generation almost suggests that the that this new generation isn't just going back and watching the original Harry Potter anyway. And I don't know. I don't have kids, so maybe they are, maybe they aren't. I don't know. Interesting move. I think it's really interesting they decided to make it official here. Uh, and it's also very interesting that they're going the route of Max and a series <laughs> and not movies. But uh, yeah, yeah, that is what it is. Interesting move. We'll see how that goes. Look, in all honesty... This could be something that blows up in their face like Universal's Monster Universe did. It also has, listen, there's going to be a lot of people who are going to poo-poo on this, but it's the truth. It has the potential to maybe be the next Game of Thrones. I'm not saying it will be. I'm just saying I don't think you're being realistic if you don't at least acknowledge that potential is there. Potential for complete disaster? Yes. Potential for something very special? Also, yes. So it's like almost everything else in this business is going to come down to execution. That's the image. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, look, they're maintaining the classic design of Hogwarts. Yeah, even the typecast, uh, the font. Of yep, the, the font is good. Well, I mean, of course, the font was part of the books. Yeah, that's true. So they're they're maintaining all that. So it's going to be really, really interesting to see. What I'm going to be really curious to find out is what kind of budget do they give this thing? Do they give it a <clears throat> Will and Grace budget? Or do they give it a... Lord of the Rings, uh, Rings of Power kind of budget. I don't think they're going to give it a yeah, billion dollars a season, but I mean, this could be a huge thing for them. So it'll be interesting. That's how we'll tell how serious they are about this is how much money do they put into it? So that'll be a telltale sign. Max. Guys, we want to take a minute and thank the sponsor of today's video, Fume. Listen, cold turkey may be great on sandwiches, but there is a better way to break your habits. And we're not talking about some weird mind voodoo from your crazy neighbor or putting Vaseline on your feet under your socks. No, we're talking about our sponsor, Fume, and they look at the problem in a different way. Not everything in a bad habit is wrong. So instead of a drastic, uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad from your habit? And Fume is an innovative, award-winning device that does just that. Instead of electronics, Fumes is completely natural. Instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. And instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses all natural, delicious flavors. Your Fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial and is designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting, giving your fingers a lot to do, which is helpful for de-stressing and anxiety while breaking your habit. When I first got my fume, I couldn't believe how beautiful the design was. It's perfectly weighted, and when I breathed it in the first time, I was blown away by just how fresh it tasted. Fume has served over 100,000 customers and has thousands of success stories, and there's no reason that can't be you. Join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Head to tryfume.com and use the code CAMPIA to save 10% off when you get the journey pack today. That's try F fum.com and use the code campia to save an additional 10% off your order today.